Hey everyone, Keith Locke here of Tips and Tricks HQ. In this quick video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up and send invoices um, through your PayPal account. Now, the first thing you want to do um, after logging into PayPal, at, across the top, you'll see it, either a Create an Invoice tab or Request Money. So click on that tab and let's go through the invoice settings first. Um, that way you can set up specific information about your business. That way you won't have to enter it manually for each time you send an invoice. All right, as you can see, the, the tab changed to request money now and I'm in, under invoice settings. Now the first section is the business information. So you just have to fill in all the boxes with whatever information you want to show on the, on the actual invoice. All right, then the next thing you want to do, if you, um, if you want to upload a logo as well, just click on invoice logo right there. And then you can upload, just click on browse and then upload a file. And then you can use that. And that'll show up on all the invoices that you create. All right, and then you can also, if you wanted to, um, you can set up your address book so that people that you frequently um, send invoices to you could put their pertinent information in there and the currency that you're going to be billing them in so that you you don't have to enter those details manually later all right so now what we want to do is click on create invoice and then we'll go ahead and create one all right so you can see all the information that I put in for the business information section and invoice settings that's going to show up here now on the left side and it gives me the option I can change the logo, remove the logo, or edit the business information directly here. All right. Now the invoice number, this will, this will be created automatically, but you can of course um, put anything that you want in there. And then change the invoice date, and then the payment terms, you can go due on the date specified, no due date, net 10, whatever, whatever you choose, and then you put in a due, due date. All right. And then you can choose um, somebody from the address book or you can put in somebody new you put in their email address there and then you can uh, um, save that information to the address book so this is pulling up people from my when I start typing it'll pull up people from my current address book all right, then you can select the currency. Um, depending on the person you choose, that currency may auto auto select, and then you just put in whatever information you want, like uh, for each item that you're be, uh, billing for. How many and the price, and whether there's any tax or not. And you can set up um, the different tax in the invoice settings area as well. And if you want to apply a discount, if there's any shipping and handling, and whether you want to add tax to the shipping, you can put in some terms and conditions, and then a note. If you want to apply a note, send a note to the recipient as well, you just put that in here. And here's a memo. This is just, this will be attached to the invoice from here on out, but only you are going to see it. And then you can just click on preview invoice to see how it looks. All right, so I'm going to fill in the rest of these details just so we can see. Give them a five percent discount. Okay, I'm gonna click on preview. There, so we have a professional looking invoice. Um, and then all I have to do is click on send and it'll be sent. All right, so I'm gonna go to manage invoices and show you a couple more things here that we can do. Now these are all the invoices that have been sent in the past. Um, there will be a status to determine whether it was paid or not and the invoice number will show up there and you can click on that to actually view the invoice um, now you can also print out your invoices in PDF and send them to your customers offline and then you'll have the option um, 
under mm -hmm. action you can there'll be a drop down list where you can choose you can mark the invoice as paid um, obviously if someone pays when you send the PayPal invoice to somebody and they pay online either through their PayPal account or through credit card then PayPal will automatically mark the invoice as paid but you have also have the option to manually mark the invoice as paid all right that's all there is to uh, sending invoices through PayPal um, again this is Keith Locke tips and tricks HQ thanks for watching